This year marks the 60th anniversary of Turkey joining NATO. How important is the alliance to Turkey today, and where do you see your position within it? Uh, yes, this is the 60th anniversary. In 1952, it was uh, a strategic, de strategic decision for Turkey uh, being a member of NATO. And in the last 60 years, many things have changed in the international environment. The Cold War has ended. Many post-Cold War challenges were met. And now we are in a new phase of a new concept, strategic concept of NATO. The international environment is still changing in a dynamic process. NATO has been transformed. Turkish uh, politics, economy, foreign policy has been reformed and transformed. But one thing remained same. The strategic character of Turkish membership to NATO. NATO membership is one of the strategic pillars of Turkish foreign policy. And uh, Turkish contribution to NATO is important for the NATO op operations and for Na NATO planning. Uh, and today, even the membership is much more meaningful, much more strategic, more, much more important than before. During Cold War, Turkey was a flank country against the Soviet Union, like a geopolitical barrier. After the Cold War, especially in Eastern Europe and Balkans, in Bosnia, Kosovo operations, Turkey has contributed a lot uh, as a responsive character of uh, crisis management. But now, in this uh, new era, uh, especially after 9-11, of course, Afghanistan operation was critical, and Turkey has contributed to this as well. Now, in this uh, new era of political turmoil, political uh, huge comprehensive political transformation in the regions around Turkey, as well as global economic crisis and possible conse political consequences of this crisis, and the rising risks of uh, security issues, uh, may gives uh, new uh, give new elements uh, to uh, the strategic concept of NATO as well as Turkish contribution to NATO. As we look towards the Chicago summit coming up in May, what are the key issues for Turkey and what does Turkey hope to get out of this summit? Yes, the Chicago summit will be a historic turning point. A new strategic concept has been adopted by NATO and uh, Chicago summit will be a historic opportunity to review and to uh, reassess this uh, strategic concept after the emergence of the new challenges. When the new strategic concept was uh, drafted, there was no Libya operation, uh, which we did not anticipate. Nobody could anticipate last year. So it means there are new challenges in front of us. And uh, Chicago Summit will be uh, providing a, an opportunity for consultations uh, among the uh, allies, as well as reassessment of the NATO uh, in this historic turning point, especially in the Middle East. Meanwhile, in Eastern Europe, in Balkans, and in general, uh, we expect the open door policy for the new memberships uh, should be underlined, reaffirmed by NATO uh, to give assurances to the uh, Balkan countries. This, has, this also will be an important uh, agenda of uh, NATO. Today, I shared my views with uh, Secretary General Rasmussen about partnership uh, meetings with uh, the partners of NATO. That will also provide new elements for the multilateral character of the cooperation uh, of uh, NATO with other partners. Throughout the last year, we we saw sweeping changes in the Arab world. Um, what what role do you think, and specifically Turkey, play? in NATO's efforts to reach out to the countries um, of the Arab Spring? During Cold War, we have defended the same values what today Arab Spring uh, and the youth and the people of uh, uh, the region demand uh, democracy, uh, transparency, rule of law, uh, freedom of speech, freedom of economic activities, uh, all these and, uh, elections, free and fair elections, these were the values which we have defended throughout Cold War uh, as NATO. And today, of course, we have an, a responsibility to, 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 the, to the people of the region, uh, those who want to have the same v values and mechanisms, democratic mechanisms, should be uh, uh, implemented in their countries. Therefore, uh, as Turkey, 
from the Yasmin Revolution of Tunisia uh, in uh, last year, 14th of January, until today, we have been supporting uh, these demands of the people everywhere, uh, in Tunisia, in Libya, in Egypt. Now we are defending in Syria, in Yemen, in Bahrain, everywhere. And NATO has played a significant role in Libya. Of course, each country has its own character. We do not expect the same uh, contribution, the same challenges or the same remedies could be applicable to all. As Turkey, we will be working with other member countries of NATO for the achievement of these goals. And in NATO, if there is any need of uh, assessment, of course, as we did today, we will be always uh, talking and preparing for the future uh, challenges. Thank you. Very Thank much, you. Sir.